Hello everyone, it's the RSI guy again and today I'll be showing you a very simple RSI trading strategy you can use to trade cryptocurrencies. So without further ado, let's get into the business of the day. So firstly, I just want to show you a diagrammatic um, expression of what I'm going to be talking about today. So we're talking about price. Let's assume price is making a lower low, all right? The price is trending downwards and you know this structure this market structure we see right here is bearish right so we see this market structure is what is bearish is what is bearish all right so we all agree that this is a bearish market structure because price is making lower lows all right so if price is making lower lows you say you want to trade with a trend right so there's nothing bad with trading with a trend but the issue is that are you sure okay um okay so price is making lower low and now while price is making lower low we see that our rsi just did something like this all right rather than making lower low our rsi decide to do something like this so right here we spot that there is a where price is making lower lows right the rsi is giving you a bullish divergence showing you that the momentum has flipped quite bullish all right so the momentum is already shifting to the upside so when you see this divergence you begin to look for what now this is your divergence all right so price is making lower low the rsi is making a higher low and now that you have noticed this divergence the next thing you want to look for is to wait for a break of market structure because this is a previous high that was created so you want to wait to see that price do something like this now price do something like this which means that there's a break of market structure we say bos now this is a break of market structure happening at this point so when you see this break of market structure you can now begin to go into the lower time frame to mark out your entry and what your entry should look like is that why after this break of market structure the market or the price we have to come down to a discount area either a fair value gap now these are the things you'll be looking for either a fair value gap or what or another block so these are the true criteria you'll be looking for so you'll be looking for either a fair value gap or another block so any of them will be occurring around this point where prices trading towards so you'll be looking for an order block here that means you're expecting price to come to this other block or to a fair value gap before then going higher so where will your target be most likely so your target will likely be the recent high the re the recent high that was here or you can target this as your first target before targeting the next target that started this divergence all right so the recent high becomes your target so you expect price to change so when price flip bullish you expect price to touch this zone and then this zone before you take you exit your trade position all right so if you understand what i'm explaining here or you can just watch this aspect of the video again then let's go into the chat so today i uh, was looking at this chat i saw the litecoin right R litecoin i saw litecoin did um something like this in other words um let me just make it let me make it sorry i'm going to i'm going to make it bold so that you can see what i'm talking about so we'll, we'll see litecoin do something like this so litecoin was trend, trending low lower right this is a lower low and this was our recent high all right so this this already took place but i'm just 
trying to show you because this was a trade I took during the day. So you see this is the recent high, right? That created this new low. And then we see that we have this happening here. We have this happening here. So we have a bullish divergence. Now that we see this bullish divergence, all right, we saw a break of market structure happen here. So the moment we see this break of market structure, we now have to go now. We are looking at it at the one hour time frame. This is happening on the one hour time frame. We can now go to our 15 minute time frame, right? Where immediately there's a break of market structure. We go into our 15 minute time frame. And so once we are in our 15 minute time frame, now look at how beautiful this is looking. Once we are at our 15 minute time frame, you can see that this break of market structure happened here. And immediately there was a break of market structure. We were expecting, if we go to our one hour time frame, if we go to our one hour time, or without going to our one hour time frame, we can see that this is our, our divergence that took place, all right? This is where we had the break of market structure, all right? And then we see this, um, then we see this play. Now we see this taking place. Now, once we see that price is getting to that our area of interest, this is the move that broke structure, right? So once we see that price comes to this um, demand zone or this order block, we are expecting a reaction from price, all right? So if you come to the five minute time frame again, you will see that we are expecting that when price, the market was dropping bearish, the moment it hits our area of interest, we expect to see volume, buy volume picking up. And you can see that the buy volume started to increase around here, all right? So at our area of interest. So once the market hits that area, you see that price began to trend upward. So if we come to our 15 minutes, back to our 15 minutes time frame, you will see that on the 15 minute time frame, now this is our recent high, all right? That was why I was talking about our recent high. This is our recent high. So the market came here, hit our, our targets, and we can take profits and move out of the trade. All right? So you can see that if you look at, um, let's look at what the trade percentage, if we say this is our stop loss, right? Our stop loss is right here. Our entry is right here at this other block and then um, our entry is right here oh I think I'm doing something wrong so let me take it again so we we'll see let's do this so this is our take profit right here right this is our stop loss right here we are not using the wick, we're just using the body of the candle. So this is our stop loss. This is our entry. This is our entry. And then you can see that we have a two, um, one to two, two ratio, one trade. So for every, we are risking 1% and we are making about 2.1%. So that's a like two to one trade. So we see that this trading strategy gives us a, a, a 2 to 1. So if you are risking $10, we are making $20. If you are risking $100, we are making $200. But this is for starters. But as time begins to go on, you begin to see that you can actually um, fine-tune your, 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 your stop loss in such a way that your stop loss may not be below this low that created this this high that broke this structure so your stop loss can be as little as this to give you a risk to the reward of one risk one to nine but because as a starter you really want to give yourself that space so that even if price wants to take some orders in this um, area you still have your trade 
um, you still get to be, it still have to be a winning trade. So that is that for this strategy. So it's a strategy that you can use. Um, I'll be doing another video to show you another example of this strategy. If you are going to be bearish on, well, if you want to take a bearish trade, but it's still about price go trending and the RSI showing you opposite direction and you have to wait for a break of market structure to confirm that okay your your setup is playing out the way you want it to be then look for area of interest and see how price reacts at your area of interest before taking the trade all right guys so that is all i just want to discuss with you today so i'll be seeing you in the next video